this topic got Mary very, very uh, fiery yesterday. I was ticked, guys. <laughs> It, here's here's what happened. I saw this TikTok. Kim Kardashian recently did a podcast where she completely backtracked on accountability for her business relationship with Balenciaga following their infamous bondage teddy bear scandal. And yeah, she she's just completely dodged personal accountability for not cutting them off as a business partner. Kimberly Kardashian West. I'm going to speak to you like a mother now because you pissed me off. <laughs> the 22-year-old is now speaking to the 40-something-year-old. As a mother, <laughs> I find it incredibly hypocritical that you wouldn't take a stand in defense of the children in this photo shoot. But at the same time, you seem to so fiercely defend the innocence of your own children, protecting them from the truth about your personal dramas. Yeah. I, this, this video really pissed me off. I would like to show it to you guys so you have context. The TikTok one? Yeah. All right. Here it is. It was like, everyone was like, why aren't you speaking out? Why aren't you speaking out? And I'm like, wait, I'm not in this campaign. I don't Poor know you. what's happening. Let me like take a minute to research this. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as I saw what everyone was seeing on the internet and the reality of the situation, I completely spoke out and gave my my thoughts on child and completely denounced it mm -hmm. but because i didn't say F you balenciaga that's it people got mad at that so yeah like, i'm they're mad yes. if i don't they speak did. out they're mad if i do speak out and if i don't cancel mm -hmm. they're just mad that it's also not the use of cancel if that's you not don't right. cancel someone in today's <laughs> society then so manipulative it, it's just can't, like i know people talk about cancel culture and how crazy uh, it is and, but it's still happening and so mm -hmm. it's never been my place yeah yeah balenciaga the is somehow the victim here is to make mistakes is to grow and to evolve and mm -hmm. to be better people obviously there is absolutely no place <laughs> or an ounce to even play with anything with children mm -hmm. like any sexualization of children there's like not an ounce of that in our should be in our brains and in our society thank you for I stating the obvious yes. i couldn't have been more clear on this is horrifying this is these this is disturbing we were we were clear I mean, on that babe <laughs> but unless they heard what they wanted to hear is like fuck you you're canceled that's not well, what Siaga that's thinks. not what that <laughs> word not what means for. that's not what that word means also kim kardashian she was, is a she's the board she's a robot dude oh my gosh she, she's an absolute I, robot. I saw comments that were like the spin she put on this shows she's just like practicing for her time as a lawyer yeah <laughs> um and like her pr team obviously didn't prepare her well for this here's the thing Thank nobody you. was asking you to say f balenciaga f this f that yeah. No one was asking you to, you know, quote, cancel them, anything like that. What they were asking you to do was very simple and a reasonable ask. Cut off your business relationship with them, which earns you and them profit. Also, Just cut off the business relationship with them and but no one would have of, been mad. But she but wasn't instead, part of that campaign anymore. No, she wasn't part of the campaign, but she was still a business partner with them. Yes. Okay. So yep. she she gets dressed by them. She promotes them. All of, I mean, you would be shocked to find out the amount of planning that goes into just the paparazzi appearances. Oh yeah. Of women in this that. in this level of notoriety. Well, think about what we talked about. When Everything Amber, is a brand deal. When Amber heard when her team gave like a heads up to TMZ that she was going to be yeah. going to file a police report about her like facial about having everything is is a pr scheme and everything is a brand deal for them all people were asking for is that kim kardashian cut off her business ties with balenciaga yep it was a very reasonable thing to ask instead though she waited days to speak on this look when it was a very cut and dry thing i, I don't have a problem with somebody waiting to make a statement no that's not inherently the problem but the first thing she posts after that period of silence is a picture of her ass <laughs> so in the comments on that picture Everyone was like, "Yeah, um, excuse but, me, or were you were you planning on speaking on the fact that you're this company that you are sponsored by essentially has openly sexualized children and tried to 
pull one over on the audience for this for this campaign. This is why I would never so, want to be a public figure because I don't want to have to like I don't want my opinions on everything to have to be something where like it matters when I make a statement. It's it's not the timing even that people yeah. made a big deal about. So she's being intellectually dishonest. Yeah. No one, I mean, sure, some people were complaining, like, why is it taking you so long to speak on this? I get that. But she hastily ran to Twitter when it came to, you know, canceling her ex-husband, right? This is not an example of cancel culture in action. This is like... It's a company, not a person. Right. It's a company that made a business move that is being rightfully criticized. That's the opposite of canceling. Also, let's face it, like there hasn't been a whole lot of pushback. Not that I've seen. We, I, I showed the video that one no. day of, uh, of Ivory Hacker went to the Balenciaga store in a mall. Nobody knew, nobody cared, nobody. The like, pushback has been the, incredibly tepid for the gravity of the, the subject matter, really. Yeah. And I think that's in part due to, you know, the responses from people like Nicole Kidman, who openly doubles down in her support of Balenciaga and then even Ye, yeah. which surprised me because Who's he talks about like what about the children but he even tweeted so much in support of Balenciaga after this happened saying like I stand with them which all makes love no for sense them. given that he's very after he was dropped by them but not just that but also he's very pro uh protect children he's very anti-pornography like he's he talks mm-hmm. about the detrimental effect of pornography on the brain yeah. Like pornography bad, but company doing exploitative things to kids okay? That makes no sense. I yeah, not every aspect of of Ye's thought process makes sense these days. But yeah, he is reportedly mysteriously disappeared oh, yeah, according to a former manager. This I'm guy's sure this name is, a, is Thomas St. John, and he's currently trying to serve Ye papers for a four point five million dollar lawsuit yeah. about unpaid fees and yay is nowhere to be found to get served these papers he's kind of pulling in olivia wilde hey nothing wrong with that last time i think they said last time he was publicly photographed was december 14th taking a break it's been a while he's, he's, re- he's, he's he doesn't have milo anymore so he's re he's reestablishing his campaign he's got to yeah. figure out what his next step is for his presidential run We'll see if he turns up soon but also, I, i'm just saying it's incredibly rich that Kim runs to Twitter to denounce her, the father of her own children over this like Twitter anti-Semitism scandal. But then when it comes to an issue that I would argue is even more cut and dry, which is the sexualization of children, something I hope at least yeah. everyone can be on the same page about. Okay, uh, she, she has to think about the nuance. And yes, she ended up cutting off her relationship with Balenciaga, but only once she replaced it with a different brand deal. Okay, there's, a, there's, a, there's a, a comment here that I think is fair. So Keyes says, why are you saying canceling deals that involve millions is simple compared to denouncing the company's actions? I think canceling million dollar deals is a bigger hassle than denouncing them. Canceling a multi-million dollar deal is genuinely not a problem for Kim Kardashian, a billionaire. Well, yeah, but what they're saying is that it's it, like it, it's it puts you have to put wheels in motion, right? You have to call lawyers. Lawyers have to draw up papers. Documents All the public take needs time. to know is like I'm in the process of cutting off my relationship with I, Balenciaga. Without knowing the contract, we can't know how simple of a process that would be. Like I'm it, not saying it happened within a matter of weeks. But I'm but I'm what I'm saying is that like I don't know if we can know the details as to like maybe she's not legally allowed to make. I'm a sorry. Statement Why are we coming point. to the defense of Kim Kardashian? I'm not. I'm just pointing out the opposite. And that like, speaks uh, for I'm, itself. I'm she does not the, need anyone yeah. to be white knighting for her, and she is complicit in yeah. actual child abuse. I do not care about the context. Okay. I I really don't, especially when she's I'm here from the preaching about side. cancel culture. Yeah. This has nothing to do with cancel culture. This this is about holding a mega corporation, multi-billion dollar worth corporation accountable for exploiting children. I mean, if you actually go into the depths of, of the details in that campaign. Yeah. Anyone who actually went down that rabbit hole knows that it was horrific, that it was planned, that 
Also, they dropped their lawsuit against the production company that yeah, helped them the, put it together. Which is, it which was all planned. Of, yeah. And she was in on it. There's no nuance to it. And there's there's nothing about waiting a few days and then posting a picture of your ass on Instagram that says, you know, she she was just like, you know, taking her time and thinking really hard about it. Her response is to like a kind of go the anti woke grift route. Like her PR team was like, oh, yeah, just say that they're trying to get you into a cancel culture mob. And then I think that's shifting the focus. I, I don't think that's right. Well, listen. She, she denounced the ad. She denounced stuff happening to children. That's what she's supposed to do, right? So beyond that, without knowing what the legalities of the business decisions are, I can't speak to when she's supposed to do that. I do agree that posting a picture of your ass before doing anything else was probably not it's the best It's testing the waters. Yeah, it's it's testing the, the waters for what people's but reaction let's it, will normal be people before don't know you make permanent on. decisions. And normal people don't know what's going on with this stuff. Like, Which is why know. she's lying. Yeah. Like, it's, right. it's, like it's, that's why she's trying to sell this broke down incoherent narrative about you know poor balenciaga poor oppressed little balenciaga being you know yeah. made a victim of cancel culture well, the, that, that's, that's ridiculous the, the part i hated face. the most about it was talking about it as if like you're the poor company right no. the the poor company when her the father of her children has been like trotted out and humiliated on the world stage yeah suspended on all socials and you know he all of his business relationships were instantly ended with the exception of adidas who waited like i don't know a week in response to something that objectively i think is less egregious than what balenciaga did so no i don't think that this was a principled response from her uh, I think she was trying to see if people would memory hole it fast enough for her to continue working with Balenciaga. That seemed to be the largest takeaway I had for it is that most of the celebrities that were involved with the company were just testing the waters to wait and see how long how long will this stay in the news cycle. Look, Here's what, DC the truth, is, like, look what DC is doing with Ezra Miller. They've just allowed it to be memory hold because normal people don't know yeah, that Ezra Miller's a On creep. a much smaller scale. Yes. But like what Kim Kardashian seemed to not realize is... It's it's a smarter decision to cut off that business relationship as quickly as possible. Be transparent about doing so yeah. because the people are asking for that response. And that saves your name and your brand more than it saves the money you are going to get off of working with this designer brand. Yep. Like her name is more valuable than any money she was going to make off of collaborating with that brand. Yep. So it's bizarre to me that she waited that long when it did more damage to her reputation than anything. Her reputation is her moneymaker. Her name is her income, not brand deals itself. It's whether companies are willing to work with her in the future based on how the public perceives her. This did nothing good for her public perception and everything bad. And then in this same interview, she was complaining and literally crying about how hard it is to be like co-parenting with yeah. someone who's well, so there's nothing more unstable frustrating than and I just have to pretend that everything is okay and shield my kids from it. Uh, like you're shielding your kids from your, you know, what should be private family drama, but at the same time won't stand for other people's children that have been like pictured next to inherently sexual innuendo yeah it's hypocritical obviously i'm just and not i just think to... it's sick that she tried to manipulate people and i'm glad that no one is buying it and i'm glad that i like every time we see things like this from hollywood i'm just like i'm glad i'm not a part of that yep well that's uh, it glad be... i'm not you you know glad i'm not kim kardashian because uh, the no money is worth being this morally corrupt yeah well, yeah, I, like you're to, like what we're talking about with the actual incidents, obviously. But like as far as like the legalities of timing, ability to make statements and contracts, I don't know any of it, so I can't comment on it. But okay, I do, then what she should say yeah. in the interest of transparency is, for legal reasons, I couldn't have commented on it earlier, so I waited. But instead, she said, yeah. I was trying yeah. to do my research. There's nothing to research about a picture of a child. Holding a teddy bear with sexual bondage gear on it. 
Like, that, that's on its surface. There is no nuance. There is no research to be done. The, the more you research it, the worse it gets, which we found out. Did you see the picture, or I'm sorry, the video of the, uh, of the person who went to Balenciaga and wore bondage gear to apply for a job? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, to, <laughs> like, oh, it's not socially acceptable when the yeah. clubs do it. Yeah. But when you do it because it's, like, fashionable and artsy and dope, like, that's what they call it, dope, yep. then it's okay. The chat is with you. Today. I'm done. You are there saying. Well, I so yeah, I, I saved my, my yeah. I, I was in the red yes. with my Andrew Tate comments. But you're back now. You're now I'm back. Super base. I I'm yeah. I'm back in their good graces. Thanks for watching this clip, guys. If you want to see full episodes or follow us on social media, links are in the description below. Bye. Bye.